So we're making our way up the old mine to market road and um, along the way up there's some <clears throat> remnants of a structure. Um, there are some buildings or whatnot out here. The huge cable that you see right here was part of the aerial tramway that ran all the way down from the upper down here. So as we get up there, we'll show you remnants of the tramway as well. But a lot of the uh, blowdowns and whatnot have kind of hit a lot of the what was out here. All right, so we're gonna make our way up the mine to market road and we will see you um, at the lower at it here in uh, a few minutes. So we're still making our way up to the lower, but we came across the tramway cable and some corrugated roofing tin siding material. So we're gonna continue up here and then we should be at the lower here uh, momentarily. So we're coming up on top of the waste dump here and we should be hitting the lower right as we come up over the top. And there is the lower. Okay, we're gonna get our gear off and then we're gonna see you uh, inside in a second. Okay, so we're gonna make our way into the lower here. It's a little wet. So we'll kind of go across these timbers. out the rail still in here So this lower is a pretty short at it. It doesn't go in too far. Most of these were smaller overall. So we're coming to the uh, back, back wall. Again, you can see they used, um, you kind of look here, they used wood for the rail with a steel strap on top for wear. So some people call this uh, poor man mine rails or econo <laughs> mine rails, way cheaper and easier to do than steel.
All right, so we're back outside the lower and we're gonna head up the hill and we're gonna go to the middle and the upper next. And so we'll uh, see you along the way. Okay, so we're following this tram cable and airline up. So we're gonna see if we can find some other remnants of the tramway to show you. So we're gonna scramble up this and hopefully when we get to the clearing up there, we'll be able to show you um, some remnants of the tramway. Here we got a portion of one of the brackets for the tramway. And the airline's running right next to it here. And it's kind of just heading straight up. So we'll go up a little further and see what else we can see. Okay, so we're gaining some elevation here and we're probably more than halfway up to the uh, middle at it. And you can see the uh, miner's trail right in front of us. So we're just gonna continue up this. So here you can get a good view um, of the miner's trail that's headed up to the middle at it. So we're probably going up, I don't know, 300 vertical feet or something uh, in that vicinity. So once we get up here a little further um, and we switch back towards the gulch and then make another turn up, we should be coming up on the middle at it. Okay, so now we have the uh, waste dump in view from the middle that you can kind of see here running down the hillside and up. And there's the tramway cable, which is snapped right there. And it runs all the way up. And right over here, you might be able to make it out is the middle at it and over here you can see air pipe running down the hillside to wherever the powerhouse was to supply air for the pneumatics for the mine and there's some air pipe kind of going off that direction as well so we will kind of jump up to the top of the waste dump and we will be out the middle And there's the middle. So over here, we've got some more air pipe, tramway cable, and then the gulch, which runs up here, will go to the upper. And you can see some air pipe coming down. But before we do that, we're gonna check out this middle. So we'll get our gear off and we'll see you inside in a second. So we're heading into the middle here. Again, these were smaller mines. They weren't really large. So this one, I don't think goes back terribly far. And here you can see the uh, air pipe. So this one has a stope in it, which you can kind of see the ore chute coming down. And it's stoked up here. Let's see if you can see that. And it 
goes up a little ways. And it continues back. And there's the head wall in the back right here. And then there was a little bit of a drift back here. It's kind of caved in or it was purposely backfilled. And it's got quite a bit of water in it. It doesn't go very far back though. So we're going to make our way back to the entrance here and then we'll head up to the upper at it. Take a look back down, you can see down the waste dump. And again, the tramway cable that ran all the way up and air line that ran all the way up. So now we just have a scramble up the gully to the upper. Okay, so we're making our way up this gully. It's kind of a rock scramble. But as you go up, um, you'll see the tramway cables continuing and some airline. And this just will continue up for, I don't know, 100, 150 feet, something like that, before we hit the upper. Okay, we're about to the top of the gully here. And here is the upper. Okay, so this one has some low clearance going in, so I gotta watch your head. Get low here. And again, you see air pipe running down through the mine. A little area they were working on, stoping out by following the vein up there.
And we've reached the back wall. All right, so we're turned around here, making our way back towards the entrance. Kind of give you a view of the portal entrance there. that stoked out area they were chasing the vein up and low ceiling And kind of looking back down the gully we came up. So looking outside of the upper attic here. So a little history on this site. Um, so this particular mine uh, was operated by the Camp Creek Mining Company and that was from around uh, 1929 to 1940. And it was primarily a gold and silver producer. I think the assays were around 2.6 ounces of silver per ton and about 14 metric tons of gold and silver ore were shipped out of here between 1929 and 1956. And the ore was sent down to Ronald, and then it was shipped by rail to the Asarco smelter in Tacoma. And these three addits, um, they're at about 3,100, uh, 3,800, and 3,880 roughly as far as elevation. So we're up a little bit um, in terms of elevation. I'll pan around here, kind of see the view. But it's a, uh, it's a really cool little mine site to check out. And we hope you enjoyed uh, coming along with us on this adventure. And we'll uh, see you on our next uh, video. And thanks again for uh, following us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And we look forward to uh, taking you along with us uh, soon.